Welcome to my channel, the DIY hobbies and the house, travel families and fairy tales, the tours and our love stories, talk about more foods and lifestyles, and especially the story of our lives, love and everything. And please, I hope to see you into my next vlog. Please like and subscribe. Hello again everyone and welcome to my channel. It's Ducky Duckies. Today I am making a for recall. It's an Norwegian and um a Norwegian traditional food in every autumn season here. And for recall is a lamb in cabbage. In a large casserole pot place a layer of lamb on the bottom followed by a layer of cabbage add some peppercorns and salt repeat this process until you have used all the ingredients finishing with a final layer of cabbage on top add the water And cover it with a lid and bring it to boil. I started it always on a max heat for 10 minutes and then slow cooked for 3 to 4 hours. The cabbage contains a lot of water that will be eliminated during the cooking time. So don't feel compelled to add more water than the stated amount. I usually want to have more soup. Slowly cook until the meat is tender or detaches from the bones. Here it is guys, the final touch. The meat and the cabbage is really soft and it's a really really good taste. The first time I had foricol, the strong lamb taste put me off. But over the years, I've come to like it for its simple nature. I grew up in the Philippines and my family eat most pork, meat, fish and anything. So when I moved in Norway, Pinashot, the other traditional food that they have every Christmas and New Year, made me fall in love with the taste of lamb. As well, I lived in Stavanger, which sits in Rogaland country, one of the largest sheep production in the country. So this is probably the best place in Norway to eat forical. Yes, I am slightly biased, but the fact that Rogaland country is especially known to its sheep and men estimated that there may be more lamb and sheep living in the area than people. While this dish is eaten all throughout the colder months of the year. Also, eating forical at the end of September is a clear signal that the warm summer months are long gone. And a cooler, normally wetter autumn is here. This is Norway. Thank you for watching. Until next time.